Golf mates, welcome down to season two of the Hidden Gems. And wow, what a season we're in for this time. Honestly, we've been going back from season one. Look at them hidden gems we had. Sterling, Cullen. I mean, these were just magical. I'm excited today. I really am. I've always wanted to go to this course and I'm taking you with me. So sit back, relax, try and guess with the clues where we're going. And all I'm going to say is this. You're going to see what I'm going to see. Golf mates, so I brought you to Neffin. What a special place this is. It's got three loops of nine. You ready for this? It's got a peninsula, it's got a cliff top, and it's got an inland. We are going straight to the peninsula. Ready for this? I believe there's a little pub there. If there is, we're having a little refreshment, but we'll have a chat with a pro, and more importantly, we're going to chat with some locals. And you ready for this? I think this place is one of these. Doesn't matter if you play good golf or bad golf, because all that matters is the views. And no, I've not come on a scooter. Right, golf mates, here we are, Nevin. I am going the short route. There's no way I'm cutting the ravine. Any other day, you, you probably could do it, but today, forget it, forget it. Just don't even attempt it, don't even be silly. Go on, get over. I've gone the shortest. It's gonna land on the fairway. I can't see a thing. Joe, where is it landed? Yes! Stroll one, I can't believe it. Golf mates, we are back on Hidden Gems and look at us, look at us, look at us. Look at this, there's a pub. There's a pub here, if it's all going wrong. It must be Welsh, it's called the Thai Cock. So we're in Neffy. <laughs> it is, that's what it's called. We'll go in and have a pint. Honestly, golf mates, look. The sun is shining on the righteous. That is you for watching the channel. So come on, let's get this. A ball you'll do here. Yeah? I'm getting excited. He's throwing one into the wind. I've probably got 250 yards left on that. But either way, come on. So golf mates, this is why I love these hidden gems. I hope you've never seen this place before because you've seen it now. And wow, wow, wow. So Nevin, you ready for this? It's on the Flint Peninsula. And it's got like a little hotbed of clubs around here. You've got Perfelli, Port Maddock, Aversock, Royal St. David's, Aberdovey, which is a little favourite of mine. But I tell you what, golf mates, look at that. I mean, wow, absolutely wow. Is this, you know, if you can't get out these days with all the trips with what's going on, is North Wales a possibility? <sighs> right, golf mates, here we go. I have got 185. I ain't getting there into wind, I'm not. I'm going to try and aim in between flag and the lighthouse. Wind's proper whipping off. I tell you what, four iron, that's until I get my clubs, that's all I've got. Uh, will it get there? <laughs> I've post it with DHL, it might. Not with me. Right. Oh, what a swing that is. I'm sorry, I, I just, it's so beautiful that. And it's gone where I've aimed. And I've got a chip. Oh, I'm excited. I'm like a kid who's got a crunchy or an Easter egg. You know when you're at Easter and you get the Toblerones, you like feel special. That, I'm just excited. I'm gonna come back here and bring eBay Pete. I think he'd love it here, wouldn't he? And Stu. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. Life is life. Na, 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 na. Life is life. Na 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 na. Right, golf mates, 400 yard par four. A bit, a really good driver. I've nutted, absolutely nutted my four iron. I've got about 35 yards left. 
I'm going with nine iron. I'm thinking it, with this wind, it's got a finger jig. It's got to stop the golf ball. But I tell you what, listen to me. Listen to me. How am I going to top this course? I might have dropped a booby. How, look, how am I going to top this course? There's nothing better than playing golf beside the sea. Right, concentrate for the boys and girls back home. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow, I thought I did everything bang on then. I, it's pin high-ish, but I've got a bit of a long putt. But I tell you what, does score really matter on a day like this? Ask yourself, not at all. Well, golf mates, look at this. You've given me the best job in the world. Thank you very much, but my heart. But can I get a par for you? That would be nice. But like I've just said, it doesn't really matter. So there is a few things to do in Nevin. You could actually stay here because it is a bit of a trek. So you must be coming for a golf weekend, maybe. There's a hotel there, I've forgotten the name, but we're going past it. Hey, we've seen a curry house. We have, we've seen a curry house. And I believe the next hall you'll see a pub, I think. Might be wrong, or it might be the hall after, because we've been told about it by our friend the pro. Oh, it's going to hold up. Do you know what? I'm not mourning. Well, it's not in yet, is it? Let's be straight. Just stop that, Liam. Boom! Oops. Oh. A bogey, but who cares, eh? Who cares? What a day. What a day and what a place. Right, like I said, you're going to see what I'm going to see. What have we got next? Right, golf mates, here we go. I don't think we need a tee. Coming back of a little bogey. Let me tell you now, this is some of what happens. When you play near the seaside, you've got to mess with the elements and uh, the wind is absolutely hailing that way. Par 3, 165, don't know. So it's not going to play that, but I'm going to have to start it out near the... I mean, I'm basically, I'm going to start it out at the Irish Sea. Now, normally say, comment below. I don't want you to do that. I just want you to wish me luck, because I don't want to be putting it on that bloke and on, the, on them cars there. So wish me luck. Wish me luck. I mean, this is a nervous tee shot, this. This is nervous. Right. Come on, trust the wind. David Kinn said, when it's breezy, swing easy. Right, oh yes. Come on, wind, be the club, be the club. Yes, stay on the green, stay. Yeah! <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if Joe got that. We've started that out in the sea. That's with the cod boats and the fishermen and the captain of that barge of the Suez Canal. Come on, Liam! Golf mates, come on down! Oh, I tell you what, so it weren't over the, well, it was over the sea, but it was a big, like, bay and boulders there, but yes. That's probably the best shot I'm going to hit today, that. I mean, there's the pitch marks here. And it's rolled to there. We'll get that. Happy, happy days. Right, put her on the floor. I'm going to get the bag up. Give me a pitch mark repairer. Golf mates, have you ever seen a course like this? You can say Pebble Beach. Like I said earlier on in the intro, it's got three nines. Um, it used to be just a nine hole course and then it's been changed into th three loops of nine now. So you get to choose where, if you want to play the, the, the yellow, the blue and the red. It's 53 quid for player. You've got choice of three nines, 53 pound. And I think it's 60 pound at the weekend. Right. Settle, settle, settle down. This is for a bird, but I want a par. I can't wait to jump on this next tee. I've got wind behind. God knows where the ball's going to go. Right. These greens are absolutely beautiful. Settle down. Right to left, this golf makes, but the wind is that way. Come on. Life is life. Wow! 
That put the brakes on, didn't it? E -e -e Barney Flintstone. I'll get my ball marker out, actually. I'm going to have to take my time on this. This is an e-knocker. Again, don't repeat yourself. It's not about the score. But if I don't par this with that tee shot, I'll be an angry man. Now, it's right lit, but with that wind, I don't know. I'm going to have to go firm aggression. Yeah! Oh, get, get in. Honestly, keep this rolling. Joe, come with me. See where you are, Joe. Look at this golf, mates. Hey, look at this. I'm going to get... This is brilliant, this. Don't mind golf, mates. It's all in Welsh. I can't read it. But I think it's size for letting you know there's places over there, there's places over there. <laughs> what a place. Look, there's a lighthouse up there. Someone's looking at us, I think, Joe. He's probably thinking, who's that fool from Bolton? All right, mate, just pad this all. You won't see many pars here today. Talent in the hand. Oh, yes. Right, golf mates. Yes. Hidden gems. What am I going to do next week? What am I going to do? Comment below. Is this place unreal? Like I said, I forgot to say, there's a place in Cork. I've never played it. It's called Old Head. This is very similar to there. And I think it's about 400, 500 pounds to play. If I, play, if I got offered there for free, would I go? Yes, would I pay it? No. £53 for this. Right, golf mates, after that par, I am buzzing. Right, 320 yard, uphill, downwind. I think we can get this close. It's a bit of a blind shot, but wait till you see the approach shot. I've seen it because we played the old before, which was a hard all. Right, on the tee, happy, happy, not Gilmore, happy Liam. Drilled it. Look at that, that'll run forever. It weren't my best, but that is going to run and run and run and run and run and run. Eh? Even if that's in a bunker, I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. Right, golf mates, here we go. As you can see, I have got 60 yards in. And yes, I'm on somebody else's fairway. Might have misjudged that with the angle of attack. 60, so I'm going to... Gap wedge. Half aim it with Sky Sports Joey's. What a job he's doing. What a day we're having. So I just want to flick and I think, I think the wind will do it personally. Well, you can see the wind. Look at the barn it behind. Right, come on. Is that on the green? Has it stayed on the green, that Joe? Oh, well, no, was that the best shot in the world? No. But I am on somebody else's fairway. I'm just going to give him a little louder cheeky wave. Well, didn't want, didn't really do what I wanted that, but I were rushing now just because I uh, can basically have to. Don't listen to a word I've said. I played that. Look at that. That's worked. That is called a great, great shot. Ah, I tell you what, it's mad. Like I said in the intro, I'm just going to play three holes, but show you. But I tell you all, I'm walking up here now. And you know me, I like my words, but sometimes I'm lost for words. But I'm going to walk past Joe, not on my line, and there's something behind us here. Look at this for a view, honestly. Joe, look at that. That's that pub. If I too put that, we're going for a pint. What do you reckon, Joe? Absolutely, yeah. Get in! Honestly, golf mates, as I said earlier on about a golfing destination, just met three golf mates. And I'm going to break it to you now, one of them is favourite of Mr Barlow, but I've just met them and they're all from the world, but they've been here for four days or five days golfing. Great lads. Oh. Right, golf mates, these have come all the way. Day trip or are you staying over? No, staying over till Friday. Where are you playing? Uh, we played, where was Port he yesterday? yesterday? Port Maddock yesterday. Port Maddock? Yeah. 27 here today. What? 27, 27 here. holes here today. Bloody hell, you must have a lot for breakfast. We did. <laughs> you eat a couple well, of kids. Um, tomorrow is Hollyhead. 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 Oh yeah, we played yeah, there. Yeah, Hollyhead's yeah. great, great oh, people. Yeah. And then Bull, Bull Bear. Bull Bear. Bull That's another one I need to play. Think, is nice. it? Yeah. Bolton fan? No. Bolton fan? Come and help me out, Cobb. Liverpool. <laughs> 
You've not doing nothing for me, you three, are you? Yeah. Worth a trip. Oh, yeah, definitely. Have you been having a couple of sherbets at night? We oh. certainly have. Several. <laughs> Several? That's why you've been rolling for right, golf. Hey, do you watch bits of the channel? Yeah. Watch a lot of it, yeah. Who's your favourite? Got to be honest, I, I, I like Mr Barlow, he makes me laugh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 On that note, we're going to leave this Tranmere Rovers fan. <laughs> right, back to this. Two put pie, a pint. Right. Who's happy? Honestly, I hope, I hope you're loving this golf course. Okay, okay. That's what you call it. It's got a chance. It's got a chance. It went past the hole. We're off to the pub, we're off to the pub. Hidden gems, what's gonna happen next week? How can I beat this? Should we go to the Thai cock and have a pint? Absolutely. I can boat with one of the best bars in the world, that is, you know. Is it? Yeah, one of the best beach bars in the world. So we met this lad earlier, the golf mate, ain't you? Yeah. Everton fan. <laughs> My oh, he's a Liverpool <laughs> fan. So you've done your backing? Yeah. What a lovely day, look. Oh, I tell you, it's difficult with that wind. But that's what you come here for in the sea, in the sun. Yeah, you know, you come near the sea, you'll get. It? Oh, it's brilliant. It's like Wales is Pebble Beach. Yes. That's the best way of putting it. Wales is Pebble Beach without a shadow of a doubt. Well, I'm tempted to get to that bar. I'm tempted. Can you get to it, do you think? Yeah, there's a, there's a path that goes down. But you have to leave your buggy up the top and walk down. Right, golf mates, here we go. Tie cock in. Card payments only. That'll be Apple Pay. Joel's driving home. Do you know what? Hidden gems. I think I might take eBay Pete with me next week. I have got an idea where we're going. I do know where we're going. We've got actually three courses set up. But is anything going to beat this? I mean, I'm not. I've never had a drink on the course. It's not my what I do really. But I'm going to sit on the beach here and have a drink with you without a shadow of a doubt. There's no way you can come down here and not have a pint. And I tell you what, we did see. You ready for this? We seem like a bomb crater. I think it were a bomb crater. Again, we're going to ask the pro and find out about it. It's not a crater. It's a hot. It's literally a hole that the the, the pirates used to use to smuggle out the the gold jewelry and all the all the alcohol they used to get. Used to go under it and then just disappear. Basically, that's the stories they used to tell us. But I tell you what, look at this. Look at this. Is we're round this beach. Look at this. This has got to be the best golf course I've ever played. This is unreal. I'll go for the local lager. Eh? Uh, you couldn't be, couldn't you? Oh, You've never been bolting, have you? Uh, <laughs> well, you look like me. You look like me. Glasses, we could be the proclaimers' tribute act, couldn't we? <laughs> hey, that's nice, that. How good's that? How good's that? You don't see him as us? Can't miss it, could you? Don't forget, we're quite a long way ahead of you as well, though. We were like, this is a good we're three steps course, ahead. I saw you up there with a the photographer. <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're just going around and have a point, have a picture, have a point, have yeah. a picture. Yeah. Well, were you the famous explorer? <laughs> you won't go cold, will you? you? You've got common sense. You know exactly how to dress around here, don't you? Yes, sir. But it's actually fantastic up there, but it's nice down here as well. Than any jacket, though, if I'm honest. What have you got yourself? Look at whiskey. That's a, that's a little uh, local rub, but. Uh, Go with the pint as well, just make sure. Oh, it's gone. Hey, how hard with that up there? Whew. That's it. <laughs> Worth the visit? Worth the visit Worth for sure. Visit. Definitely, wouldn't it? 10%. Golf mates, what can I say? I don't know if it's the in thing to do, but I'm so glad we've done it. We've had a, one pint we've had, Joe's had a cook, and I tell you what, it was brilliant. And I think if you come and play here, please come and play here. And if it's a sunny day, Go and have a pint. Why not? Do you know why? Because life's a living. Sat there for 10 minutes is just fantastic. And I'm going to say it again. How am I going to beat this place? Right, golf mates. I know you said more. So we're here. We've come on the front nine. I think I'll have to put the bag down, to be honest. The wind is absolute blowing a hoolie, as they say up north in Scotland, but in Wales. What a country. What a country. You've seen it coming in. Honestly, I'm probably a bit naive or not travelled around Wales much, so I cannot wait for a little tour of Wales, what's coming now after this visit. People in Wales, you've got some golf courses. Right, hit this hard. Hit this with your rhythm stick. Come on, golf mates. Feel me in. 400 yard, I think. 
What a shot that is. Look at that go. Right hand side of the fairway, is it going to come in with the wind? Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. Honestly, golf mates, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm. I'm just glad you're here to enjoy this like I am because it's been a three hour drive for me and Joe and it's been three hours worth it and if it takes four hours to get home I don't care and I tell you what I'll tell you what you better comment below how am I going to beat this comment below where am I going to go right golf mates that didn't come in as much as I thought I've got 152 uphill right to left wind I'm going with a seven, it's in a fluffy lie. If I can finish with a par here, oh my giddy ant, we've done great. But do you know what? If I shank this into the sea, it makes no odds to me. It really doesn't. What a day we've had, me and Joe, we've been to the beach, we've been playing golf. Unreal. Right, seven iron, 150 uphill, over the bunker and the wind will do the rest. Oh, Joe, tell me you've got it, Joe. It's all over the pin. Just land left of it. Now the wind's got it a bit. What a... Oh, what a golf shot. Man from Del Monte. He's given me the thumbs up. That was coming in hot. That was like a scud missile. That was hot. Hopefully that's held the green. 50-50. I'll tell you what. Nevin. Oh. Imagine if you played it with no wind. Oh, God. Would it be the same? Of course it will. It's spectacular. Right, golf mates, a little bit big, but who cares? Trusty eight iron. Right, can we finish with a par? And honestly, out of a scale to one to 10 for a day, I'm giving it 11. If we had a little more and the wind died down, I can get the drone out a bit more, but I got enough, I got enough. Right, eight iron. Can I get up and down for my little mate, Sky Sports Joe? Oh, it's just got stuck on the fringe, that, didn't it? But bet this fringe is not up here. Just asking, is me all right for Kirsty? Here we go. Left to right for par. I mean, I don't know what stroke this is. It's got to be an hard one. Deserves it. Great second shot, great tee shot. Get in! Well, as they say, life is life, and I am full of life today. Golf mates, wherever you are in the world, some part of your life, I hope you can play a golf course like this, and especially for the price. This is a real hidden gem. I've been Liam Harrison, I've been with you today, you've been with me. If you can hit the like button, that'll be fantastic, and comment below, how am I going to beat this one?